What's going on YouTube? I hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, I'll be doing a Q&A and I have a lot of questions. Some are good, some are funny, some are interesting. So let's get right into it, you beautiful people. I'm going to start out with the first question. Louis AF asked me if I could have a dream team, who would my teammates be? And honestly, I always like to put Scump in there. You know, me, Scump, maybe Formal, maybe Krim. You know, those are like the four players I would probably team with. If not, you know, I do want like the core three to be me, Scump, and Formal. I think that'd be a nasty team. You know, two aggressive, amazing subs. You have a very, very, very strong AR. And then just any player, almost any player could fill in that spot. I think we would still be dominant. DCarlo305 asked me, how am I going to do the next event? And am I confident? Honestly, man. I'm feeling confident, boy. We've been playing a lot. We got second MES, which is not a big deal, blah, blah, blah. I don't care, you know. It was still good practice. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't care if we play second. Obviously, there wasn't many teams there. But it was very, very, very good practice. We've been playing for about a month and a half together, and we've been having hard practice. And what I mean by hard practice, not only have we been going hard, but we've been hard on each other. That way we can improve, you know. Somebody's doing something wrong, we tell each other straight up, and yes, it could be really bad. You know, vibes could be killed. But in the end, I feel like that is a good way to improve. As long as you're not too harsh, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. We all right. I love Kendrick, what can I say? But honestly, man, I think we're gonna be good. We're gonna be solid. I know we're in pool A, we have Optic, TCM, Onslaught, and we're gonna have a random team, but we're looking good, man. Xenoverse asked me, what is my main goal in life? My main goal in life is just to be happy, man. Life is short. You know, you go through a lot of stuff, you go through a lot of shit is what I'm gonna call it. And life is beautiful, man. Life, you wanna enjoy life. You're not gonna have your life forever, obviously. So live it while you can, you know, do the best out of everything, you know, try your best, go hard, go big or go home. Honestly, man, that's the biggest thing I want in my life. I wanna be very happy and I wanna make that happen. And obviously that comes in with a lot of other factors. For example, being successful, having an amazing relationship, you know, having a great, like, there's other factors to that, but my main goal is just to be happy. Orbit Race asked me, what am I most excited about Black Ops 3? Honestly, man, I think Black Ops 3 has been a sick and solid game. From when I played it on the PS4, it was amazing. Graphics were out of the world. And then we play on the Xbox. The graphics are slightly worse, but still one of the best games I've played so far. It's been very fun. I love the new movement. I love the new mechanics. I love the specialists. I love how there's kill So we're probably going to be using kill streaks now. And it just changes the whole tempo, changes the whole game. AW was fun, and don't get me wrong, I actually, I actually like AW. Even though it hasn't been my best game uh, when it comes to placing, I actually enjoy it. I just haven't had the best luck of placings, and you know, it's gonna be a good time, man. I'm honestly so excited, can't wait. They actually support us. They actually wanna have a great game, and it's just gonna be an amazing year, to be honest. Richie asked me, why are you still on Rise? Honestly, Richie, you freaking Chandler, you gonna tell me that, you little, you little, you little prick? Rise is the best team in the world, and we're gonna prove it at UMGDC. You see me there, 100. Smitey asked me, would you rather win the lottery or COD Champ? Honestly, man, I've answered this question before a long time ago. I would rather win COD Champs 100%. You know, money is, isn't everything, like, all right, don't, don't go too far on that, because obviously you need money to survive, you need money to live, everything. And yes, I probably would be getting a million and a half less, or two million less than I would winning the lottery, but, you know, this is a competition. I love competing. I love like just the competition. I would I would rather win that, and, you know, saying that I did it, that I com accomplished something amazing, something huge, rather than winning a lottery. You know, continue. Maybe I'll continue gaming and just for fun. And it's like it's not the same feeling. You know, I I want to feel the same inside. Me winning COD champs would make me a lot more happier winning the lottery, and that's just facts. You know, to me, money isn't everything. Obviously, you know, like I said, I love money. We need money to survive. We need money to live, but. In my personal opinion, caught chance. Stack asking, would you rather be stranded in an island with Chino, Burns, or Weeds? All right, Chino snores too much sometimes. Weeds can be a little freaky, and he's pretty skinny, so I don't think he would be able to help me too much. Burns, he's a pretty good lad, uh, decently built, nice guy. Probably would be very helpful, so I'm gonna have to go with Burns on that one, you know. I think he would do a great job. We'd be the duo. Nightfall Shorty asked me, and this is a pretty interesting question. Would you rather never cut your fingernails again or have to chew the same piece of gum for the rest of your life? Honestly, I'm probably gonna have to go with the... the... Alright, this is, this is harder than I thought. Damn. Alright, having very long nails and they're just gonna keep growing. You, can, you barely can do anything with your hands and feet at a certain point, right? So I'd rather be able to move around, work out, be free with my, you know, my movement, my hands and legs than, you know, chew gum. I, I would chew chew gum, 100%. So please me ask you. So Bleezy asked me, would you rather put a toothpick in your toenail and kick a wall or rub Haggy's feet every day for the rest of my life? Honestly, man, 
that two pick to the wall, I I don't know, man. I've I've been through some painful things, but I feel like that would be the top top notch level of pain. I don't think I'll be able to deal with that, honestly. Yeah, but I'm not rubbing nobody's feet, man. Except for my girl. You know what? I'm out of here. I'm going with the two pick. Ars Cards fans ask me, would you rather go bungee jumping or skydiving? I'm gonna go with skydiving. I'm jumping out of that plane, hands high, arms high, and I'm flying out of there. And I'm gonna slip through that shit, cause that's some real shit, you know? You saw Sensor do that? I could do that. 100. Prof Zims asked me, where were you born to keep up the good work? Why, thank you, buddy. I was actually born here in Miami, Florida, but, but, my dad's Bulgarian. If you guys don't know where that is, that's in Europe. Not sure, I know it's by Russia, by Turkey, somewhere around that area, but I've been there about two times, and my mom's Peruvian, which is from Peru. So I'm pretty much half Hispanic, half European, but I was born and raised in Miami. And I remember when I was at a younger age, I kind of had a Spanish accent just because I lived with my mom, and a lot of people in here in Miami are Spanish. But over time, I developed more of a English, clear accent you know kind of took the Spanish out but I still have it a little bit a little bit European mixed with Spanish I don't know it's weird but yeah guys well that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed the Q&A don't forget to leave a like this has been your boy Apathy and I'm out